Hey yo, Blue Tube. <coughs> How you all doing? Um, I thought I'd do another quick beer review. I quite enjoyed doing that one the other week, you know, even though the beer was a bit crap. Um, Wife's just gone putting kids to bed, so I've got, you know, 15 minutes to to myself. <laughs> um, been Blackberry picking today, and I've, I've literally just kind of filmed the first bit of it today, so that and. Um, I was picking rose hips the other week, last weekend. So I've got a couple of wine making videos to come. Um, and I, I'm hoping to do a bit of a beer. Um, a beer making video. Um, but it's, you know, you're, we're right in the thick of foraging season, so, you know, that doesn't really wait. <laughs> but, you know, beer making can a little bit. So, you know, within reason, obviously. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a kind of, DIY beer kit type thing uh, from some malted extract that I found um, and using some spur hops that I've got kicking around so we'll, we'll see what happens with that um, so yeah I've got, I've got a couple of videos to come um, I've got the bug have I? nah no one's watching them but I've got the bug anyway um, just done a job lot of Kiza build videos um, I, I've smashed it together in double quick time it's looking good. Suddenly you get two more taps, obviously. Um, I'll probably get five kegs in, in there in the end. Uh, but, uh, you know, I centred these four. So if I put one in, it's going to be to the side. Nah. Um, so whether I can get, you know, one full keg in. Or maybe a small nine litre keg and put two more holes in. It's an option. Uh, I might just stick it on a picnic tap, to be honest. Um, I'll, see how we, I'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, the weather stripping came and I did that. I'll uh, I'll do like a bit of an epilogue type thing uh, once I've got my second regulators and, and, and kind of close it off and obviously no other taps, but it's functioning and it's uh, it, it's sound, it's good. So yeah, so busy, busy, busy. Um, I mean, doing these videos doesn't really take that much time, extra time you know when you're kind of doing stuff anyway um well especially if you're like me and you don't edit shit <laughs> or you're editing his shit and um but uh but there we go anyway i was in court again till the day i say places i got that shindigger uh mango and chain from and i uh, came across another fairly local and it's probably about a 50 minute drive uh from us from boland brewery so forester boland Buster IPA, 4.5%. Uh, got bronze in the International Beer Challenge. So it should be alright. Um, right. Wild boar are back roaming the heart of the forest of Boland after a long break at the Wild Boar Park. Chipping and perhaps the forests and fells too. And someone needs... So only he's learning if I use commas, I think. Big, strong and full of attitude, yet surprisingly domesticated. This is a well-balanced light ale with tropical undertones. Enjoyable and entertain, uh, entertaining company on its own. And the perfect match for chicken. And uh, chicken. Bleh, chicken. It's not an ING on them. And pork dishes. Barley, wheat and rye. Best served at 10 degrees Celsius, so I've had this in the fridge, but it should be sat outside for last half an hour, so it should be, should be bob on. So, yeah. let's crack it open. Now the poultry hits. Try not to spill it this time. Alright. I don't really know why I'm doing videos because my nose is shit. I can't smell anything. And my taste buds are shot after like years and years of uh, <laughs> beer drinking, alcohol abuse, I think. But at least you get to, uh, you know, see my glorious visage and uh, hear my dulcet tones. So. 
Or not. <laughs> For an IPA that doesn't smell anything, I can actually smell the hops in, in a good IPA to be fair. If you saw one of my previous visit, uh, uh, videos, it's one of the, uh, one of only about six or seven things I can smell. <laughs> Nothing. Very, very little, very little. Well, might as well just dive in on it. Sorry, I've been eating nuts. Can you tell? Disappointed again? What is going on, Bull and Brewery? How have you won bronze with that? I want some taste of anything. There's a bit of hop there. I mean, for an IPA, I was expecting a bit better. Big attitude, it says. Oh, <laughs> the shit. Tropical undertones. Uh, I think they forgot to put them in. This one, anyway. I think there's a bitterness there that you kind of expect. Nothing. Yeah, fairly middle of the road. Not not too little and not, not too much, so the bitterness is about right. There's just nothing coming through after it. There's just nothing there. Right, well, I thought I was going to have more to say about this one. Just another disappointing beer in a disappointing beer review <laughs> and a disappointing video all around. Well, I'll keep my eye out. I'll keep an eye out for some localish beers, localish breweries. There's another couple in there from Manchester, Seven Brothers, never heard of them, so that's probably going to be shite as well. Um, Paul? Oh, I was expecting more. Right. I love you and leave you guys. Um, I've gone on for eight and a half minutes and I've not told you anything at all. So keep an eye out for my next lot of videos, whether you're into wine making or not. Because um, they're proper straightforward, easy to forage your stuff, so it's pretty much free. And, um, the wines that are going to come out of it, Rosehip and Blackberry are absolute stonkers. So take care guys and I'll see you later. I'll see you later.